I think I need to do a better job. We are going to do brassing. In other words, we're going to make something which is not shiny into something which is shiny using brass. What we do is pack it in in a mud cake and then we heat it up and then it is shiny. So, let's first start to make a cowbell. Step one, what is a cowbell? A cowbell is a bell for cows. Templates. Do to make the template complete and correct, you do need to have the lighter outer lines to be in line with the radius of the center light. There's enough to be a diameter, but you do have to have the different degrees at the one. It has to be equal less of the access back to the wire access you have. Like the three degrees of the radius of the corner. Of center is not in center. In other words, in other words, template. Cutting. So cutting a plate, you take a pen, mark in the place you want, a little hammer. There we have it. cut out all the corners, you can use a scissor and a file around the corners. It takes too long time, so what I do is putting the piece over, clean paper over there, and under the hammer. Let's see. Ah, need one more hit. Going down and... There, there we go. Perfect. Shaping. Template, put it with some scrap metal into the tumbler. And the secret is not to let it go too long, so I take a turn, so stop it in And I take a one by hand. There we go. Funny guy, but let's get serious. Packing the cowbell. To prepare and pack the cowbell, we need, of course, the cowbell. We need charcoal and we need string in type of linen or cotton and we need brass. First thing you do, you take small pieces of brass, either if it's plate, do take off the plastic. If it's holsters, make them flat. Put the brass in, cover it with charcoal, the tighter the better. Take one bigger piece on top, so you get a curved surface, and that removes most of the corners. A little knot with thread, and you start packing it tightly with the string. And then string should be either linen, cotton, or flax, or something which is organic and burn nicely. Plastic is not good to have it, because uh, one thing, it's plastic. So when you're at the end, make a knot. Then we we'll take the pieces of brass plate, Put it around the outer side. So now we have brass which will move on the inside, and we have brass that will move on the outside. It's not so important where you put the brass because it will get melted and move around. There. And the bell is packed. Mixing. The bell is packed and ready and we'll make the mud cake. So we need clay of some sort, we need quartz sand to mix in, and we need horse manure. Manure, manure, horse, ah, horse shit. And for the sake of your germaphobes watching the video, we'll be using gloves. And a little bit iron oxide to blend in just for good measure. First, we take the clay. Oh, satan da. Det var en jävla skarpa da. First, we take the clay and make it in of some form of pastry. When the clay is ready, I we'll take a good hand of sand and we we'll take a good hand of shit. So take all this and yeah, start making a beautiful summer cake. And if it's too dry and you don't feel like it smells enough, put some water on it. Oh, good. Jesus, I got some in my go. Not you. Little dash of water. And before you ask, yes, the horseshit is the key ingredient. It's like a fluffy pastry now. Now it's starting to get sticky. It's like making a good bread. The more effort you put into it, the better the dough is. So now, let's make it to a flat surface. Okay. Packing. So now, we put the bell there and we pack it around. Try to keep clear of the sharp corners. 
and I like to take out the excess so I can put it where I want it after. Keep it so the sharp corners don't cut a hole in the clay because that would be a break point when it dries up like this bowl over here. Just take it and take it right off. Need to smooth out all the, the cracks. And if you do find a crack, you just wet the area, put some wet clay in it and and it's fixed. We are done here, more or less. It's to take some iron oxide, bring it lightly around and combining it with quartz sand, you're lowering the melting points. I did explain it in the How to Forge Well video. So when we heat it up, it would turn out to be a glossy glass layer around it, which will prevent it from cracking and prevent it from falling apart. There we have it. Nice, tight, packed, but still fluffy. Drying. If it's possible, let it dry for one week. Coffee. Two days, and I want to do it now. I think time lapse would be the best here. Enjoy. So as you can see, here starting to explode. That is not good. But we will not give in. Let's see what happens. Yeah, what we want is it to be glowing red all over the place. If I turn around now, there we have it. It's glowing. And we want this beautiful red color to be on the whole thing. a little break from filming because the device is overheated so yes so here's a new camera so what we're doing here is we're taking this and we rotate it evenly oh jesus i'm doing anti-clockwise for some reason and we turn around and around until everything is hot and then when we've done that for a while we'll turn up the heat and do the same thing so that the brass will float around on the inside Get everywhere. And at one point it will start to come a little blue flame and that blue flame is an indicator that the sink is going out of the brass and then hopefully it is done. So I think I will take the camera now and move it a <coughs> little back. Bad for business destroying two cameras. Wooden branch under and flip it while I lift it. Try not to poke too much on it, just raising it up. Ooh, it's hot. Now, starting to glow orange of all. And there you can see, there's the blue flame. Blue flame, you see. This is shitty camera. As you see. Oh, jeez, it's hot. Okay, hold your horses. Okay, time out. Just let me explain here. We are now at the end process. It is now hot enough. I'm taking it out from the fire hot. And what I should do now is rolling it around very much and very fast the moment I take it out because it's starting to solidify. So what do I do? Super hard to see. Don't think it, I'm able to do see it. There you can see, little blue flame. That blue flame is indicator that it should be done now. Correct, I'm showing the blue flame because that's much more important. And it does have consequences. But enough about that, let's continue. So let's just roll it around just so the brass can go everywhere. So what we do then is that before it cooled too much down, 
You're just moving them back and forth, back and forth. Jeez, it's hot. Up and down. Here we can see it a little bit again. But it is, you can see like a little blue flame there, right? Just nod if you can see it, all right? Up and down, flip it around. If we move it around with this. So now I'll get a bottle of butter. Butter. I should have had this bucket of water before I started. For safety reason, camera a little bit back. Because you know, camera is everything, right? And we take this. This is so fun. Last flambeur a la mud cake, anyone? So we're just gonna let it cool down a little bit and then we crack it open. So let's see. Oh, look at that beauty. My plan was to take a sledgehammer and break it into pieces, but I really like this thing. So I would think I would try to cut it open. I will cut a groove down here and up. And as I see here, there's some piece of which is loose. It's not much to see, but it is some melted brass there. So let's cut it open. The saw didn't do anything. Apparently it's very hard, so you have to move up the game to cutting disc. That's better. I think I cut a good enough groove now. Oh, it is something shining in there. Ow. No, 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 no. Cut, 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 cut. Apparently not deep enough groove. Oh, let's continue. Spotty. now loose because I've broken everything. Jeez. Not good result, I know. Let's buff it up a little bit. It had been over a thousand degrees for two hours, so how is it possible that the cotton thread is still thread? How is it possible that it is still flexible and movable. How is it possible the tread is still there? Look at this. It is flexible and it is thread still. And has that been over a thousand degrees for two hours? Done! So this was a complete disaster. But I don't mind that, because it, it is important for me to do mistakes, because for me it is not a result that matter, it's the journey to get there, the knowledge to getting there. So now I do know, until next time, what I have to do better, uh, where... The good thing about filming, then I can go back and see where I did the, the mistake, and... Yeah, the panic mode, <clears throat> little mistake there. So, but I think it is important to... Take the whole picture, not always when everything is beautiful colors and thing goes the way it goes in slow motion. Sometimes you do have to take the bad things when thing doesn't go as, as planned into, into picture for what are we, if not for the journey. It is going to be a part two at some point, when I do not know, but it will be and I will get the good result. But until then, thanks for watching and as always, until next time. Kiss <laughs> 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 <laughs>